Good morning, everybody. Welcome to 8 Minutes to Chew On. And uh, speaking to Pastor Ruloff here, we're finishing the sermon series on respect. I hope you've watched them because they're really challenging. Uh, mm. It's a cultural issue that is upside mm. down yeah. in our world today. So go and listen to some of those sermons. I really know that God will challenge you around respecting uh, and respect in your own life. Mm. So we were talking about respecting older people, honoring your parents. But Pastor, you can go and listen to the sermon. I want to ask you the question. Mm. You know, when I read this in, in 1 Timothy, um, it says, 1 Timothy 5 verse 8, But those who, care, who won't care for their relatives, mm. especially those in, the household, in their own household, have de denied the true faith, mm. such people are worse than unbelievers. Mm. And so I think for us practically, uh, the people that we need to look after often is our parents, mm, mm. you know. And so as a believer, how do I care mm. and support my parents in their old age? This is a great challenge, Nick, I think, mm. because we have created there again something that very, very difficult to undo. And one of the things I asked in uh, uh, the pastor in, in Uganda, and I asked him a number of questions about older people. And he said to me, because he was here 25 years ago, he said, mm -hmm. one of the strangest things mm -hmm. about South Africa or white South Africans, if I can put it like this, or the Western culture, is this, that you put your old people into old age homes. Mm -hmm. He says, we care for them. Mm -hmm. And I was quite challenged by that. Now, I know that there are certain times medically and so on that you just can't, can't, can't do this anymore yeah. but um, I mean you looked after your mom for a while mm. until it was a medical issue and so on and then then it changes I think personally I think we need to relook really at this and it's very easy to get uptight about it or too progressive about it that we that we put one another on a guilt trip here this morning mm. but I think the, the concern that we do have is that we do probably do we need to rethink how we look after our parents uh, my my mother moved in with my sister, who looked very well after for many years. And then last year of life, we put her into a home because she needed medical care. But it's your mother, mm. you know. And we always think of the inconvenience that it will cause, mm. instead of thinking of the sacrifices they made for us when mm. we were children. Mm. For the first twenty years of your life, mm. all my parents did, or not all, but a lot of what they did was sacrificial yeah. towards me and my sisters. So I think we quickly forget that, you know, that we then. Look at our comfort instead of our responsibility towards mm -hmm. older people. And it starts with my mother and my father. Mine are not alive anymore for many years, but I hope my children are listening, <laughs> uh, that they will take responsibility. So uh, I, I, I would just like to encourage people is don't, don't react to what we are saying now, but rethink mm. how you can actually uh, look after your parents better and what the Bible says about this, we've read it, mm. you know, a believer shouldn't not mm. look after their parents if they, if they can. Mm. And, they, and it's easy to say, I can't, but that's the challenge. Yeah. So I'm going to just ask you directly, mm. do you think what Paul's teaching Timothy, yeah, is that telling us that we, we have to take responsibility for our parents? Yeah, I think so. I think we have to. You know, we have to take responsibility for our parents. And, and, and I think the sad thing is often as well, you would have one child that will do it and two others that won't do it. Mm. And so the, bur the burden is not often shared among children mm. as well, which is very difficult. But again, you know, listen to what the Word of God says. Uh, and, and I also want to touch on the fact, and we didn't really look at that on Sunday, is what does care for an older person look, look like? like yeah. Because it's easy to put them in a little box, give them a TV and say, sit mm, there and watch mm, the rugby mm, once a week, you know, mm, or netball mm, or whatever yeah, they would yeah, prefer. Yeah. But what does care really look like for an older person? Now, I'm not old yet, but I'm getting older. And, and, and you know what? We have people, there's mobility problems. Mm. There's, but they still like to sit here. I see them on Sunday, talk, and they talk, and they mm. talk, and they talk, and they don't want to go home. Mm. They, there's a bunch of older people who are the last ones to leave. Why? Mm. Is there is an emotional need. It's an intellectual need. They're not stupid mm. because they're mm. old. Mm. They, they're just slower. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I think churches need to review. We can't put that plan together today, but churches need to review their, their care uh, for older generations. We have an amazing passion at the moment to reach teenagers, but we're not going to neglect mm. 
caring for our older mm. generation mm. as well. So it is our responsibility. Mm. How is our challenge? Now I'm going to ask you, a, <laughs> you know, when I look at this verse, obviously Paul says here, you take care for those relatives, especially those in the household. But but we also in household as a church. Mm. Mm. And uh, yeah. should should we as members in the church, a family kind of set up, uh, should we be, be far more understanding and caring mm. towards our older people in our church mm. uh, on an individual level, not just those that feel called to that, yeah. that ministry. Yeah, I think so. I think, like I said on Sunday, the first le- level of responsibility is respect. Mm. You know, is treat them with respect. The second level of responsibility is, yes, we do say that the Bible says family needs to take care of family, mm. but sometimes they can't. Mm. Now, I, we don't have to necessarily look financially after the people in our church mm. uh, because some of them don't need that. Uh, and we want to encourage the, the, the children to do mm. that and the aunts and the brothers and sisters to do that. But we can have other care that we give towards them, and we are looking at that ourselves at the moment as well as do we give enough attention mm. to our older generation? You must remember the wisdom lies with them and you can say what you want to but years Mm. of experience the emotional maturity lies with Mm. them and a whole lot of things and i think i honestly think that they are they are sometimes some of our most lonely people in the church because young people can still go out after services Mm. and do that and thank god for a facility like a coffee shop that we can make available Mm. after but they are often the most lonely people they come Mm. in sit on their own, and they go home, mm. uh, many of them. Yeah. And we want to change that. As we close off, I want to ask you one more question. Yeah. Uh, often people will come to us and say, look, I've got a need. The church must look mm. after me. Um, I was wondering if you could just maybe elaborate mm. on how we evaluate yeah. biblically yeah. whether the church should take that responsibility yeah. or whether the family should mm. take that responsibility. I think the first, first uh, stop is, is family. Mm. And I think that's the first thing as a church you should ask if there's an older person in your church that's struggling. Now, the Bible says widows who cannot work anymore, in, in my mm. translation, mm. In, in the way I translate that verse, okay? So, so those who can work must work. Mm. So, so, so when a person cannot physically work anymore, which is normally around about mm. 65 up, mm. sort of the average age, then we have a responsibility to, first of all, phone their family. Mm. Say, what are you doing with mom? Mm. Uh, and so on but if not if it's impossible we have a process that we go through where we evaluate a person's financial situation we have care packages that we give out and all of that but deep down in my heart i still think wouldn't it be fantastic if we have our own old age home mm. churches used to do that yeah. methodists used to do that the dutch reform mm. church i think had old age homes mm. wouldn't it be nice if we can say come and stay with us mm. you know come and stay in our home so, uh, so we have a responsibility and we have that in place, a financial assessment. And then there are people, the care group that actually meets mm. those needs as well. Thanks. Well, I hope that uh, was food for thought. I think if you're younger, you have some, some good advice uh, from both of us. I think we've, mm. we've had to work through it. Start to think now about the possibility that you need to care for your parents later on in their lives. If you're slightly older and you've got old parents, we pray that God gives you the wisdom. Um, and if you're a gray head, may God bless you because you're a blessing to us. Amen. Enjoy your week. See you on Sunday. Hi there. We hope you got so much value out of this week's eight minutes to chew on. If you would like to listen to the full sermon, you can click the link in the description or you can visit our YouTube channel, The Barn Christian Fellowship. If you would like further resources or maybe you would just like someone to pray with you, pray for you, um, or maybe even someone to chat to, you can visit our website, thebarn.co.za. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, or if you're listening to this through the podcast, you can leave us a review. We'll see you at church.